Grand Rising Wonderful Souls and welcome to the North Star Tarot. This is a channel all about the heart space, all to do with self-healing, self-care, self-love, romantic love, soulmate and twin flame journeys. If you are a new face, welcome in. Thank you for helping my um, channel to grow. I hope that you enjoy what you hear. If you do, I'd love you to hit on the like, the subscribe and the notification bell. Only if you like what you hear so you can see more of it. And if you are an, o an old face coming back thank you so much i appreciate you guys thank you for your likes your shares your comments and your subscribes let's get into this let's see what's coming forward for love what wants to come out please show us what we need to see oh there's an illusion of some sort okay this is illusions this is deceit this is this, this can be the story that we tell ourselves but isn't it isn't true or this could be a story that someone else is telling you that isn't true you've got the queen of wands here okay there is an aggressive illusion that is being placed in front of you and i don't know if this is you telling yourself this you've got a page of swords i heard you've got to unlearn this stuff you have to unlearn this stuff you've got the empress okay i heard someone is disempowering themselves on purpose they don't even realise they're doing it. Someone is disempowering themselves. Someone's disempowering themselves. It's almost like, you know, when you're a kid and you get like those daisies or you get a flower. And back in the day when I was a kid, we used to do these things where you get the leaf, you get the flower and you're thinking about your crush and you pull off the leaves. He loves me. He loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. Whatever it may be, right? Until we get to the last one. And if you've pulled it in a certain way, you'll get to the last one and it says they don't love you. And it's like... You've just set an illusion. You don't even know how they feel about you. But you've set that illusion in your head that, no, that's how they feel about you. Because you've got, look, you've got that Eight of Pentacles in reverse. That Eight of Pentacles is going next to the Seven of Swords. There's a lie, an illusion, a rumour, a something that has... It's, you're holding yourself back from something, okay? And it's almost like a self-fulfilling prophecy because if you tell yourself that you don't deserve love or that person doesn't love you or that person doesn't think that you're good enough or you tell yourself that you're not good enough then you will start to see people places things experiences that vibrate at that illusion coming into your life okay you've got the ten of and then you've got the page of wands all right and i'm putting this down here because i'm hearing that song i heard it through the grapevine not much longer would you be mine, baby, baby. And then you've got the page of wands in reverse, okay? You've got the page of wands and you've got the page of swords. This is giving me, like, it's almost like giving you the heads up, but where your head is is not aligned with what's actually happening. And I heard someone needs to think better of themselves. You've also got the Three of Cups coming out, though. The Three of Cups to the Empress in reverse is almost like you are giving your energy. It might not be you. So, I mean, if this doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate. But there's someone here that's giving their power away to others to either fit in. Or it's almost like when you're a kid. You know, like when you've you got to the age where you're either, you know, if you're going out partying, but you're not the right age to drink. So in the UK, when you're 18, you can go into like bars and clubs and things like that. And in America, you've got to be 21. But it's that age, it's that young age and that energy of kind of like um, stealing your sister or your brother's clothes because they look smarter to go out, you know, with your mates. And you may go and buy a bottle of wine or whatever and try and get into a club with fake ID. And But there's always that one person in, in the group that's only doing it because they want to fit in. They don't really want to go out. They don't really want to drink. They don't really want to, you know, and they may be the one that's like, oh, I'll be, I'll be the one that drives everyone home. And they're only there because they want to be with their mates rather than they actually want to do those things. I'm getting someone here is disempowering themselves to fit in in some way, okay? Why have I been showing this? The chariot is coming out, the world the devil and the tower anything else that wants to come out yeah one more the pentacles and on the back we've got the knight of cups so the chariot came out first okay 
You've got the so now you've got the seven of swords to the eight of pentacles to the chariot. I feel like somebody is someone is making an assumption of who you are. It's almost like someone else is painting a picture of who you are without having all of the information. And there may be a little part of you, like the past identity of you, may have kind of like if someone spoke badly about you, it would really, really hurt your feelings. But maybe you wouldn't say anything. But I'm getting this energy of whoever it is that's coming towards you doesn't know you properly. Or whoever it is that's coming towards you is not showing you their true self. You then have the world card coming out, okay? So you have the queen of swords to the ten of swords to the world card. Like the world card is about having everything at your fingertips. You know, the world is your oyster. But then you have the ten of swords to the queen of swords. Something is not for you. And I have a feeling that there's going to be an experience or a person that comes forward that is going to remind you of a time in your past where you felt disempowered. And you really need to listen to that. You really, really need to listen to that. Whoever this Queen of Swords is, they don't like the fact that you are empowered. They wish to disempower you in some way. OK, this is another person. This could be a friendship circle. It doesn't have to be. This could be a third party. We now have the devil card coming out the devil card is in reverse and where i'm placing this is next to the page of swords in reverse and the page of wands in reverse when i think of the page of swords i think of someone who's studious someone who studies someone who watches others so they can learn with it being in reverse this is somebody who is not at the start of their learning journey. This is somebody who's a little bit more established in the knowledge of whatever it is that they had first started studying in. This is somebody who doesn't have to watch others or decides not to watch others so that they can... I'm really getting to heal. There's definitely this energy of either you, the person you're thinking of, of this, or this Queen of Swords, who... Um, was finding their value in others and I think that's what I was getting by that kind of analogy of you know going to the club of your mates but you don't really want to go out you don't really like alcohol but you're just doing it so that you can fit in so that you can be valued and there has been um there's a lie that you may have held on to for a very long time and that's that do you know what the reading that I did for Bromwins Cove Tarot there was something that came through no not right now sorry and something that came through was the biggest lie held till this day. That was one of the downloads that came through. There may be something that you're still holding on to that you're being asked to look at. Because you may have gone inwards. This is giving me the energy of someone that you knew from your past may be coming back around. Now, it may actually be someone from your past, somebody that you were drinking and partying with. Or it could literally be, why am I getting like school era i'm really getting school era there's a memory there as well because if this person doesn't come forward there is going to be an experience that happens that reminds you of that and you're being told to look at that because this seems to be you've got knight of cups underneath as well okay so we have the tower we have the knight of cups and we have the three of, of um, pentacles this is letting me know that you have an offer coming towards you i had a love offer but you've got to remember that the tower Usually, if it was this way, if you had the Tower, the Knight of Cups and the Three of Pentacles, I would be saying whoever it is that's coming in wants to sweep you off their feet. They want to work with you on something. They want to expand with you. OK, this is somebody that may remind you of when you were young or they may, you know, they just may make you feel youthful or they actually are someone from when you were at school. But with this being this way, this is telling me that whoever it is that's coming towards you, this person isn't for you or there's something unresolved because this is continued depression. This is not letting things fall where they need to fall. Let the chips fall where they may so that you can see and assess what's going on so that you can move forward and heal. Hmm. This person coming forward, I heard, is a snake. Because the, the, the card that you've got underneath excuse me the card you've got underneath is the death card and can you see the ones that have slipped out you have the eight of wands 
and you have the King of Pentacles. There is a third party who's attached to whoever. I have a feeling that whoever it is that's going to come in with a love offer, this person has either, they're either conspiring with someone or they've been talking about you in some way, about what you were like when you were at school or high school or university or whatever it is that time that you knew them. But it is that young period. It's that period between about 18, 17 to 18 to 21 to 22. So if you're already in that age while you're watching this, this is the people around you. This is literally the people around you. If you are older than that, then that is the age that you're, you're that's the age band that you're being told to look back at, okay? Because you have the King of Wands coming, the King of Pentacles, excuse me, to the Tower in reverse, to the Three of Cups, to the Empress. Somebody here has been celebrating your demise or someone here has been celebrating the fact that they thought, it's not that they thought, They've been celebrating the fact that you've fallen so many times, that you've had so many towers. They feel like they've done something to slow you down or stop you. And whoever it is that's coming forward with this, this Knight of Cups energy is not to be trusted. Please go with your, um, your intuition. Your intuition will never lead you wrong. It won't. If you are leading from fear, the choices you make, of course, they will lead you wrong. But if you're leading from your intuition, your spidey senses, so to speak, you're going to know. What is this about? Yeah, because you've got the High Priestess in reverse. You've got Seven of Wands. So you have, this is a childhood friend or a school friend. And they did something that they weren't supposed to do and it's left them in a lot of like internal struggle they've been caught out for doing something they've been caught out doing something illegal okay because you've got here the death card in reverse it's held them in some sort that they're, they're held somewhere and when i say they're held somewhere either they've done something within that age time so between the ages of 17 to 22 they did something illegal either in your name or with your face or your brand or something along those lines and it's got them into really hot bother and they know this they know this so they're coming for so they've got they're bringing someone forward to give you a love offer but you're being told not to take it because the knight of cups to the three of pentacles is about collaboration you know offering all this love and you know eight of wands coming through very high sensual kind of energy but then you also have the knight of pentacles in reverse this person is going to suck your energy dry and you have the death card to the high priestess in reverse this could be baneful magic or it literally just could be that whoever this childhood friend is friend is is very very good at manipulating others because the high priestess is somebody who is very in tune with the divine they're not just an empress or an emperor they are somebody who is very skilled in connecting to the divine they may be a medium a mystic a seer a shaman a, bru a bruja whatever you want to you know label it as but there's somebody who is very connected with it being in reverse this is somebody who is very connected but they are using that energy for their benefit to the demise of others. And they may even enjoy doing that. They're the type of person, and I say this all the time when I talk about this, but the type of person that would kick a puppy out of the way if they were on their path. It's like kicking a newborn baby, you know. This person is, yeah, but this person is having some sort of internal struggle now because you have the seven of wands. This is conflict. This way for me is it's either like, internal struggle or being caught out doing something they've been caught out and then you have the hierophant here why am i getting like they've signed your name on like a marriage certificate they've signed your name on a marriage certificate of some sort they signed your name on some sort of certificate pretending to be you right And this person's got caught out for it. I don't know if this love offer coming forward, this person, because you have the two of pentacles here and it came out upright, okay? So you have this love offer coming forward. It may be from whoever it is that they're married to, whoever it is that they're connected to. Empress coming out. 
Queen of Pentacles. So you've got the Queen and you've got the King coming out. So this is two people who, um, I heard the well has run dry. The well has run dry. This is a love scam. This is a love scam of some sort. And it's been, I feel like it's, this may have been something that was cooked up together, but the fact that they came out separately at different times, I don't feel like these people are looking eye to eye anymore. Let me put you over here. Because this emperor is coming out upright. Who's the emperor? I keep hearing you are the emperor. They tried to disem disempower an empress, not realising that you were already the emperor. That you're both. Strength, yeah, you're... Come now. You are both. Destiny and wisdom. They didn't know who you were. They didn't know who you were. I'm hearing jealousy. Tell me more. Perception. I told you at the start, this is about perception. This, I was really getting at first that somebody has illusions over their third eye. Someone needs to smoke cleanse their third eye or wash their third, spiritually wash their third eye. Someone needs to cloak or veil. Their, their, their third eye, their throat chakra and their, their crown because there's definitely energy that's being sent towards you whether that's projection, whether that is gossip, whether it's evil eye, whether it's whatever when it comes to how you perceive yourself but also how other people perceive you there is this energy of spreading rumours about you this is the most random love reading I've ever done what else needs to come out about this? certainty this is just literally you already know this you already know this and foresight came out upside down someone was trying to block your third eye so that when this person comes forward you don't know who they are you've got good luck coming out that's why they're coming forward because they know you've got good luck coming forward look at the power in reverse it's right next to the tower power wanted to come out And guidance. And mystical. There's definitely energy that's been working against you. There's something here that if you are a tarot reader, they may have been trying to block your reads on how you read yourself. And I heard cleanse your root chakra and stamp your feet. There's something about stamping your feet and moving your body before you read for yourself, especially if you are finding it difficult to have... Um, to get out of subjective, to get a, now there's something here about not being able to get a subjective um, view or an objective view on reading your own cards. That is for specific people. For others, it's almost like you're really good at reading other people or giving advice to other people. But then when it comes to yourself, you get stumped and it's because someone's been blocking your third eye. They want you to be in a certain position so when this person comes in and gives you this love offer, you'll take it. No more water. Thirsty. I've got coffee. Mm. A period of ill health, depression and flag. Do not be tempted to lower your standards. Come on now. And then triumph over troubles and obstacles. So just know if you, that's, they may be also trying to affect your sixth house. They don't have to, but, and it says on here, situations, situations in the balance that require careful handling. It doesn't have to, but we hold a lot of shock, trauma, stress, anxiety in our stomach and in our intestines. And I'm not a doctor. If that's something that resonates, go and speak to your doctor about that. But our gut is our immune system. It's where our immune system starts. You know, so taking care of your sixth house, your health and fitness, what you're eating, how much you're sleeping, if you're drinking enough water is really important right now because this, do not be tempted to lower your standards. Whoever it is that comes in, don't lower your standards. Don't do it. Literally do not do it. Don't do it. Because this situation in the balance that requires careful handling and triumph over, over troubles and obstacles, whoever it is that's coming forward, just know that 
everything's temporary. This person's going to come in to kind of test you. But there's that mantra that I always say, which is the you I always pass the test that the universe sends me with flying colours. And you've got here lightning, control your anger or you'll be sorry that it's upside down. So someone's coming low-key angry. Is it the masculine energy in this or the, is it the king or the queen of pentacles in reverse? King. The king of, of pentacles is coming in low-key angry. Misunderstanding because they've been fed some sort of misunderstanding about you. Who is the king? Of, who is this king? Who is this king? Chain. Chain of events that will affect your life. They did something. All right. Why am I getting that whoever this person is from your childhood? You may have dated them. They may have been just a friend. But they chose the wrong person. They chose the wrong person. Mule, someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. They chose the wrong person because maybe at the time, with the towel being there in reverse and power in reverse as well, you were healing at a different rate to them and you may have distanced yourself and not in a negative way. It's just like when we don't resonate with people because we've shared a little bit of that identity that connected us to them you just become distant from your friends you know or the people you did major challenge to overcome they what did they do to put such mountains in front of your life what did they do what did this couple do to the collective show me what i need to see please tell me what i need to hear vulture depression anxiety worry that someone is against you and then underneath you've got there, you've got mountain road, you are on the road to success. So this could have been in a phase where you actually had um, issues with your mental health. Um, with the three of cups coming out here again, someone was celebrating this. Now, some of my other readings on my other channel, Bromance Cove Tarot, do, do talk about a period of time when there was this outside energy sending things towards the sixth house. The sixth house is all to do with your work routines. It's to do with your mental mind because the sixth house is ruled by Virgo and Virgo is um, ruled by Mercury, which is the planet of information and how we process that and how we kind of analyse, you know, and then articulate ourselves. So there was a lot of energy being sent towards um, mental clarity. And also, you're, you know, when you're anxious, where do you feel it? In your stomach, your intestines, your immune system. There was a lot of energy being sent towards that area to slow you down in your routines, your daily routines. Some people weren't even getting out of bed, I hear. Okay, now remember, please ensure that you are speaking to your doctor about anything to do with your mental health and gaining support there before taking any advice here because this advice is not to surpass that of a doctor or of a therapist or someone who can actually support you with your mental health okay it's only supposed to be something that you can use in conjunction rather than on its own but there was there was spell work that was done i'm also getting there's something here about someone having issues or worries about their money and not understanding why there was issues with money and it's because of whoever this couple is Good advice from a wise person. Victory in some endeavour. This you already got over or you're about to get over, okay? And that's a certainty. It's literally a certainty. Valley. What is that smell? Sorry, I just got really distracted there for a second. Valley, deep personal strength and peace that, is, that assures success. Now, be aware, right, that if you're going through this right now, everything is temporary. And I know it's easy for me to say because I'm not in your shoes, but I have been there, okay? I have been through some very dark times. I, I have, My life has not been perfect. Know that everything that we go through, no matter how dark it gets, the universe has placed certain lessons on our path because the universe knows that if we learn it, we never have to go through that ish again. And we up level we up level our vibrations which means we draw in more things that vibrate at our level okay so if you're going through this at the moment this your words hold a lot of power and there's a reading that i've just put up on um robin's cove tower that you should have a look about look at it's to do with your words your throat chakra is very important now i want to have a look at astral houses which one should i take one two three four five or six Four, one, two, three, four. Love. Love has come out. How interesting. 
Okay. And then what month? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. October. So for someone here, there is definitely a love offer coming in October. Okay. And you've got happiness underneath. But what I want to know is whether or not this love offer is the, a genuine love offer. Or it's going to be this love scam that comes in. Wrong deck. Which deck do you want me to take? This one. Okay, let's see if this is a genuine offer. Scorpio, intensity, exposing, purging and renewing. And the eighth house. So this is, wow. This actually may be a, an X. It doesn't have to be. Facing fears and legacies. You have someone that's going to come forward and tell you a truth. Okay? But they're not going to tell you all of the truth. This is what I mean by a love scam. Tell me more about this love that's coming in October. Tell me about love that's coming in in October, please. Libra. Consideration, fairness and harmony. Tell me about this Scorpio. Love and October. Clarity, please. Clarity. Mars is in reverse and it says here, move forward, defend self and it's upside down. Sorry, that was very noisy. Move forward and defend yourself. This is a past karmic cycle. This is a karmic connection. This is, this is demoting the king of pentacles in reverse. Do not trust this connection. Don't trust this connection. And I'm hearing... The song by Tom Jones, you know, sex bomb, sex bomb, you're my sex bomb. But I'm hearing, instead of it saying sex bomb, love bomb, love bomb, love bomb, I'm going to love bomb something. And it says here, instigation, bravery, pioneer, pioneering spirit, the cardinal, and then Uranus, and it says radically change. But that's upside down. They're all upside, and then you've got also cancer, nurture, comfort, and protection, and that's upside down. Whoever this person that's coming forward is definitely going to try and scam you. There's a lot of illusions around this person, and you're being told to be aware of this. Definitely smoke cleanse your third eye. There may be needs, a need to listen to binaural beats or to frequencies that are specific for your um, third eye, to also listen to seed sounds, which are for your third eye. You know when you hear people saying, um, that's actually a seed sound. Oh, my leg is starting to cramp the minute I said that. Ah, bastardo. And then you've got air, open-mindedness, objectivity, and learning. And she's telling me with that Libra, this person that's coming in is expecting you to be very open to them because you are a kind soul but they're mistaking your kindness for a weakness they're mistaking it for you're a walkover but you're also an empath and a high priestess or high priest and this is the reason why they're trying to block this third eye so you don't see them coming in which one do you want to take before i go this one okay interesting so let's have a look at what we have tell me about this uh king in reverse tell me about the pentacles the king of pentacles in reverse please tell me about this king of pentacles in reverse what are their intentions it says please do what is best for your heart i cry at night i can't take it anymore this person may be realizing that whatever they were told whatever this lie was said about you whatever this miscommunication misinterpretation of you they purposely place some sort of um, obstacle in your life. And I heard more than one financial. And this person is gutted in some way. that They're coming forward to kind of confess something. But they're not going to tell you everything. Please do what's best for your heart. One more thing. Let the rhythm take you over. Balamor. Yeah, quiero, mamá mío. Yeah, quiero. Okay, and it says here, I don't want to be who I used to be. You deserve better and it's upside down. So this person, there's like this, this person wants you, but they don't want to change their behaviour. It's almost like they're coming forward and they want you to forgive them. But if they could do it again, they would. That's what I'm getting. Okay. Now, can I get energy of the Queen of pentacles in reverse 
And it is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Oh. Wow. It says childhood trauma in reverse. And then it says, please don't believe in me. So you have a co-runner in a codependent relationship here. And then you have lover oracle here. I cry at night. This person, it's almost like they want to be you. And I heard you were so sweet when I knew you. You were so sweet when I knew you. But there's a lot of jealousy. And it says, I'm better in my mind than I am in my heart. I cry at night. Anything else from here? Anything else that we need to know about this king? I can't make you happy. Okay, so this is upside down. This person... They've got a very big ego. They're fit. But what I'm getting is that this person thinks that making you happy is to do with like sensual energy rather than anything else. Now, is this Knight of Cups the same person? I heard yes. So this Knight of Cups is the same as the King of Cups in reverse. I feel lonely. I can't express myself. I can't make a decision. This person's made a decision. This person is coming forward. But the reason you're getting love scam is because this person... I'm getting that they're low-key angry at you in some way. It's almost like they want you, they want you to forgive them for all the crap that they've done behind your back. You may be aware of this. You may not be aware of this. I can't take it anymore. But at the same time, they feel like you, you that they deserve a, an apology in some way. Why do they think that they deserve an apology? For what reason? It hurts so much. It's all too much. And it's upside down. I don't know if this person's going to come towards you with like fake tears in their eyes. Don't wait for me, please. Wow. This person is weird. I'm getting that this person is flipping weird. They may actually have... Noisy. They may actually have mental health issues. And I'm not saying that you're weird if you have mental health issues. But you do need to go and get support for that. If they give you medication, take the medication. If they say go to therapy, go to therapy. Because not doing so leaves a person really unbalanced and without support as well, which can leave them in a really vulnerable position. And it seems like this person here is not taking care of their mental health. They're very much in their head. And that's where the scam comes in. They're scamming themselves as well as they're trying to scam you. And it says drugs and alcohol in reverse, okay? I can't promise you anything. So this person may have stopped drinking, may have stopped taking substances. If they want to prove themselves to you, I wish I could be a different, I wish I could be a different person. Before I go, I do want to know what it is that they did. What did they do? What did they do? Where would you like me to go? I'm gonna go over here. This is the messy deck. So let's find out what, ooh, let's find out what they did before we go. What did they do? They did something illegal. And you've got business idea here and business partner in reverse. They did something illegal. I told you, I knew that they, they they signed your name on something or they used your physical likeness for something, like a passport or they did something illegal in your name and this masculine went along with it as I had happy, happy revenge. And where I've put this is next to good advice from a wise person. They may have even spoken to a lawyer about how to sue you over something. It may be for a likeness. So for example, I've had that come up for me. So somebody may have been trying to copy my, whatever I'm doing on YouTube, and then going and speaking to a lawyer about how can I sue this person for copying my likeness when it's my work in the first place. Like, bitch, please. Um, that is just an example. And look, something comes up on my laptop. There's something that they did what is it that they were told? What was the lie that they were told that the collective did? What was the illusion that they were told that the collective did for them to actually go along with this? What was it? So you've got gang stalking coming out. You've 
we've got, oh wow, that, so more or less they were told by this um, Queen of Pentacles in reverse that you did some sort of spell work, that you were gang stalking, that you were harassing and you've also got here grounded and it says eat something hearty, shoes off, feet in the earth, seed sounds bath, salt baths and breathing techniques. They may have said that you were doing some sort of earth magic towards them okay because you were jealous or because you've got i love you but i hate you codependent imbalance jealous i want to be you insecure give me your energy now this person and with perceptions being underneath there with the eight of pentacles in reverse there is this energy also of um whoever this this feminine toxic feminine energy is over here it comes back to what I was saying about trying to steal someone else's brand, but then saying the brand was theirs in the first place. I'm getting that as well. But they lied and was like, look, this person's been doing spell work against me. They've been trying to mess up my business. They're doing this, this and this. Okay, they're obsessed with me. They love me, but they hate me. And they've been doing it towards you as well. You've got a stalker coming out. Candle magic, burning petitions, ruined symbols, working with deities, face, salt circles, black candle, return to sender, as above, so below, intent is key. You may have a masculine here who wasn't very spiritually inclined, so didn't really understand about anything when it comes to that, because witchcraft is just a flipping name for a practice that has many facets, okay? You have people... Who are Wiccan? You have people who are just pagan and they're not they're not Wiccan. You have people that worship the earth, you have people that like candles to the god and goddess, you have those who um, are mediums, you have those that like candles to return to sender. There are so many facets to it that if you have someone that doesn't understand any of it, when someone comes in, especially with like this, you know, seven of pentacles energy, let's see if I can actually pick it up. Oh my god. But coming in with this seven of pentacles energy and just saying that anyone that lights a candle is evil, is going to hell, they're the devil, they're working with the devil, rah, that kind of energy. If this masculine already had some sort of wound when it came to power, when it came to control, when it comes to, you know, their, their eighth house in Scorpio and then look, I've got a fly coming around me now, then they're going to eat that up and believe that. But I have a feeling that, that this masculine and this feminine, one of them, you know them from your past or you know them from your childhood or you know them, like I said, from between 17 and 22. You know this person and this person wasn't knowledgeable on this stuff and they were easily manipulated. And I'm not condoning what they did. I'm not condoning what they did in any way, shape or form, because if someone tells you that the sky is blue and you look up and go, yeah, the sky is blue. At some point in your life, you have to question why it's blue and Google that. Because if you're just going for your life, just going, yeah, it's blue. But you don't actually figure out why there are clouds in the sky or why, you know, it, the temperature goes from hot to cold. And someone just tells you this stuff, then you are literally living with your blinkers on. And that's what this person has done. So that's what I mean by I'm not condoning it, because at any point, this person, if they know you, they could have tried to find a way to connect to you. They could have contacted you. They could, have used their, they could have used their common sense and they didn't, all right? So they're saying that you have been doing some sort of mad juju towards them. And I'm also getting that this person was acting, very, this feminine energy was acting very much like a victim. There's something about all the stuff they were doing to you. They were telling other people you were doing it to them and that they had to work through a lot of stuff because all of this stuff was being sent to them, not realising that actually the stuff that was being sent to them was literally just a rebound, like a boomerang of whatever they were sending to you was being sent back. They don't like your success. Oh, they don't like your success. My goodness. And I saw a post. I, it was by like... Um, there's a tarot reader that I listen to called Akana K, and she does like um, readings on like money and what's coming in for fortune and stuff like that. And I actually shared her post. That's the only reason I'm saying her name is because I've already shared her post. Um, and the, the post was saying that let's see more women, but also more men who just are, who are inspired by other people and then lift themselves up rather than seeing the other person being successful and deciding to compete with them. I don't get this energy. I don't know why people do that. Because you've got Eye of Ra here. Look, Eye of Ra, the sun. Protective powers come from attacking foes. Masculine, yang, explores reason, logic, mathematics, science, language, good luck, and creative action. You are very protected. 
feel very protected. Can you tell me, and look, you've got court ruling. Court ruling in your favour. Something about October. Tell me about this love in October. What is this love in October? What is this love in October? Fourth house. And then angelic is in reverse. This is from your childhood, okay? A family member knows who these people are. Or this is somebody that you took care of. This is somebody you may have had a family with. You may share a child with this person. And then you've got crystal healing underneath as well. But you also have it angelic protection and no weapons forged against me shall prosper. And it's upside down. So they may have to try to do something towards a family member, someone that you love. I'm also getting though, with it saying October, because you know, this is a timeless collective reading. However, if you watch this in the future, um, there's, there is definitely a, either a love spell or something that's being done towards you. And I don't know if this person, look, yeah, whoever it is that comes forward towards you in October, this person, frenemies, lies, dagger, deceit, competition, betrayal, they're not to be trusted. They're not to be trusted. I feel like whatever this lie was about you, they also said that you weren't protected, that you weren't who you said you were, that you weren't, you didn't have the powers or the um, the gifts that you say that you have or that you use. Um, and there may have been issues with someone in their family getting sick and they were saying that you did it, but it was actually a kickback of what they were doing to you and many other people. And it says here, happy family home, harmony in relationships, empress vibes, connection to the divine feminine energy, taking time for self-care, strong foundations, emotionally grounded. And you've got Scorpio underneath. So come October, there's going to be either, this person that comes forward is an opportunity for just gaining closure on something. It's an opportunity also for clarity. Take it that way, seriously. In two weeks or less, I mean, we are today, it's the 22nd of September. In two weeks, we will be in October. Okay, now if that doesn't happen for you, that's absolutely fine. It just means that that wasn't for you. Now, I've got a love song in here that wasn't supposed to be in here. And the song is Send My Love to Your New Lover by Adele. And it says, this was all you, none of it me. You put your hands on my body and told me, told me you were ready. For the big one, for the big jump. I'd be a last love, everlasting you and me. You and me, tell me you are ready. There's jealousy here. Okay. This is somebody that you may have dated or somebody that got friend zone that wanted to date you. Oh my gosh. Oh my goody aunt. Lack of funds is upside down. Look, you've got lack of funds. You've got inheritance coming through. You've got someone who has been mad reading you. I didn't think it would be turned into this reading. Yeah, look. Commitment you do not want. This is a talisman. Outdated traditions, judgment for lifestyle, strict punishment, lack of divine guidance. And then it says forgiveness and knowledge, but that's upside down. This person feels like you owe them an apology. For, for what exactly? You've got here the merfolk. This was a friend of yours. This was a friend of yours. Social awareness, 11th house, hacking accounts, anarchist, no friends, doesn't like people, gang stalking, we had gang stalking out there. I am better than you, deviant behaviour, dark web searches, uh, surface level relationships, both platonic and romantic, mental health issues, delusional, sociopathic to psychopathy, the end is nigh black magic, right hand and past karmics. Wow, what a lot, what a mess. But we will leave it on this. You deserve the finer things in life. It's because you're getting the finer things in life. I feel like this cycle needs to end. It needs to really be closed down and ended before your blessings come in in love. Because otherwise you have this drama in the background that is going to constantly be trying to hold on. What was I saying? Once this has moved, once this has all been, you know, the cycle's been closed down, you've got that closure, you've got that clarity, you have this coming in, okay? And it's going to be unexpected. Can we find out when that will be coming in? 
When will the new love be coming in? Something that isn't dramatic and arduous and hard. Which one? Go back to. Okay. One, two. Oh my gosh, January. January is when somebody actually decent with a good heart will be coming in and not this crazy ish that's on this table right now i hope that gave you some confirmation and clarity in what you're ready into to be new if you are new to my channel and this resonated for you i'd love for you to hit on the like the subscribe and the notification bell so you can see more of my lovely content and if you are a returning subscriber hearts kisses love you guys bye